What is going on, everyone? Welcome to Mod of Monday. Today, we are going to be looking at the Hater Bill Peter Bill. So not a paid mod, but a free mod. This way, you guys are able to see what kind of free mods are out there as well. I don't want to just keep it all the payware mods. I know a lot of people might be in a different situation where they're not able to get some mods that cost some money. So I want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to enjoy this game. Without further ado, let's jump into the Hater Bill here and see exactly what we're looking at. All right, guys, so looking here in the mod manager, gonna show you guys everything that comes with the truck, what you need, what you don't need. So starting off real quick, the truck does come with a readme, which will tell you, of course, what everything means and the load orders and all that. This, of course, is a free mod. This is gonna be found in the description below by Hateru Gaming. This thing is a really clean, new, free mod. It's got a lot of Viper tendencies. Um, I don't personally know if it's got any correlation with Viper or with Paul over there at that group. However, it's got a lot of vibes to it. Um, it is free. It is something cool to use. If you guys can't get a mod that you guys desire, times are tough, completely understandable. You can also enjoy this game on a base stock game. You can also enjoy it with some free mods. I want to show you guys some of these free mods. So jumping right in, we have the Hater Bill 4.3, the Open Def, which is your open definitions, Dark Chrome, Old Scoot, and then we also have the LED Mega Pack, the Switch Pack, and the Vehicle All Flares. So, what is all this? This is going to be the load order in which you guys put it in. However, the Open Def is optional. So, if you guys don't have any custom skins, any kind of custom like uh, name plates on the door, you don't need this. So, I personally don't. Taking it out. The Dark Chrome, you guys want to have pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Regular Chrome or Dark Chrome, this is going to be the patch for that. I'm just going to leave this on. Old school is going to be your skins. So you guys have custom skins. The LED Mega Pack is going to be for all the lights. The Beacon Switch. So this truck, if you guys have seen flowing around the Dual Revolutions, this allows you to use your Beacon Switch as your Dual Revolutions. We're going to leave that on just for the case of the video. And the old flares, I'm going to turn this off because it's going to be a conflict. But that allows you to have the older flares from the older version of the truck. So we're gonna jump right into the video here. Jump right into the game, we got the coffee ready. And uh, I did take a whole bunch of mods out from the last video here, you guys are gonna see like a whole slew of them. But let's just jump in and see exactly what we're dealing with. Okay guys, so we are here in the Bakersfield Peterbilt. You guys can see it kind of gives again, the Viper vibes, you know. It says Hyderabilt Viper. Again, I don't wanna, I don't know the definite, I don't wanna speak for it. It's gonna look very goofy here as you guys see it in the shop here, but there's tons and tons of customizations to it. We're gonna do a little build on it. I don't think I'm gonna go through every single customization on this truck. As you guys will see, there are a ton and ton of options here. Whole bunch of different mods came together to put this together. A lot of options, a lot of chassis and things like that. Um, a lot of custom work that Hater Built has done to this, or Hateru, I'm sorry. I keep calling him Hater Bill. I want to call him Hater Bill. Hater Bill, if you're watching this, I'm calling you Hater Bill. A um, whole bunch of different stuff you can do with this. So let's just go through some of the options here. We have the 36 inch, the 63 stand up. Then we have the Ultra Cab again, guys. Ultra Cab is going to be your roof cap here if you are Andre the Giant or if you are not. <laughs> 72 inch, of course, we have the Day Cab. Day Cab Ultra Cab. These are really cool, man. These double eagles. Got that big boy sleeper. And that's it. Double eagle is really cool, I think. I think that's a really neat thing there with the teardrop window. Just my own personal preference. But uh, you know what? Let's do that for today. Let's build a let's build a double eagle sleeper. Uh shenanigans. That's not gonna worry. Shenanigans style of chassis here. You can do a 350 wheelbase, lowered or slammed, stretched out, lowered, eight and a four, eight and a four long. Guys, of course, the options here go on and on and on. Really, whatever your heart desires to build, you can do so with this truck. Okay. 
for today's video, we are going to do not something super long. Uh, that gives us a little bit of love. Right? Six and a four lowered. That's too short. There we go. Motors come with the truck. A slew of them all the way down. I'm going to throw in a... Uh, let's... Let's see, we did a Cummins, I believe, last time. Got some V8 cats, that's pretty cool. Let's do... Uh, this might be Z-Mod's free Cummins here. Let's do the five and a quarter, actually. We'll do the N14. I think that's gonna be what I think it's gonna be from the Steam Workshop. Some basic transmissions here, boys. Whatever your heart desires. Again, not that many options. I believe the real Eaton Fuller transmission mod works with this truck, but uh, I'm not 100% positive. But uh, it's, it's got, like I said, I kind of, this is a free truck, so you're not going to have as many options as you do on the paid ones. But some of them, again, I'm not, I'm never going to put a 13 speed with 336s. We're not, we're not like absolutely crazy. Um, 330s is a bit weird, but. I guess I'll uh, I'll do that. Oh, actually, 378s are better here. We'll do this one. 13 with 378s. Interior is really cool with this truck. Is you could do the new dash or the old dash. And this dash is actually early 90s. So the early 90s being it actually is like a 95 and older, or 96 and older. Because technically speaking, between the seats here is our cup holder. And right here we have on the dash the air brakes. On an older Peterbilt like in the 97 some of the 97 models will have the air brakes here and they'll actually have a cup holder here and then obviously as the newer ones had come out eventually these air brakes moved down to the bottom cup holder became here so kind of cool this is an old school dash in this truck so we're going to keep it old school we're going to keep it with the brakes on the dash i think that's a really cool thing with this truck you don't really see that in a lot of paid trucks you know, there are pros and there are cons to getting the two different style trucks, guys. Whole bunch of different colors, guys. You guys can customize this any way you so wish. Be a Caterpillar dealer, Catwoman on it, Crack Jenny. I think uh, Misbehaving is in here too, right? There we go. There's Misbehaving. Oh my God. Nice orange there. Pirate, Poison Ivy. There we go, boys. A whole bunch of different styles here you can throw on this truck. A lot of different options. A lot of different options. The Hick style. This comes with the old school that we actually had in there in the mod manager. Whole bunch of skins, boys. Uh, we're gonna do just a basic color on this thing. I'm not gonna go super crazy. Ooh, butterscotch is kind of cool. We doing butterscotch? Black velvet, look at that black pearl. Kind of thinking butterscotch. Let's do butterscotch. That's something totally different and out of my ordinary. So these are actually Viper wheels too. This is another reason why I think this has got a lot to do with Viper, but I don't want to speak for anybody if there is some kind of correlation. I'm sure maybe someone in the comment section will know. But really do love these Alcoa wheels. I've always loved them since the moment I found Viper actually back in the day. And I'm glad they are actually part of this truck. Uh, let's see here. You got basically your old SCS wheels here. You guys can throw on some big old black nuts there. Covered acorns. Some long ones. The old spikes. I think we're going to do... Uh, just like that, I guess. We're going to take off the cover there. We're going to paint the hub on the inside. Actually, what I want to do... Oh, I can't steal this color. What I like to do sometimes is paint it, but maybe we could try to find... Butterscotch? That kind of looks like butterscotch. We'll take it. Don't yell at me. Looks a little goofy, but we'll take it. Um, actually, I might just leave that as that, as the Alcoa hub. Again, guys, a whole lot of options here for this truck. The, the list goes on and on. You guys can be here for hours and hours. The different lights you guys can do on this thing. It literally will answer all your dreams on how you want to build the truck. 
why you'd want to put headlights down here i don't know but you have that option if you so choose to um these are plate options i guess you can put some license plates that's kind of cool of course your oversized load banner uh, where is bumper here we go a lot of bumper options too look at the bumper options oh you can do the cat like the dozer blade that's cool that's funny uh, let's see here a lot and a lot of different options here guys show truck if you guys want to do some kind of cool crazy stuff there if you guys are playing some tomboy with your boys you want to come up to the truck show with something absolutely crazy you are able to do so with this truck I guess we'll leave that miter on it um headlights these are where your normal headlights are please don't get offended if i say normal maybe you guys like that down there on the grill i don't know or on the bottom there but we'll keep that kind of clean looking there i just can put haul and booty some different peterbilt logos on this stuff for the winter fronts a lot of this is going to be labeled, except that it's going to be hard to find everything because everything is really buttoned up. So we did find the, I think we can do grill painted. There we go. That's kind of good. Fender bars, good with that. Oh, these are the lower lights. So this is kind of cool too. It gives you like a lower, um, hook up for the lights it is something that's different i do personally like it i think the trucks look a little bit different like that i think it's kind of cool hood ornament big dragon a lot of different options there we're probably going to keep this with the flying god we're not the flying goddess where's uh we got our duck She looks a little funny, don't she? No rocket, none. You can put a hood wing up there, which is going to be your, uh, this is going to be your shield here or whatnot. Take that off, though. We're not much of a bug deflector kind of guy. Again, guys, so many options here. We got the fenders, the light bars here underneath the cab. Can add a whole bunch. Oh, well, that's cool. The Cummins is on there too. I think we have a 550. Yeah, 500 at least. Oh, check that out. That's cool. I never knew that. That's really cool. Wow. That is something. That's cool, guys. See, little things like that on even mods that I've had and played with that I've never noticed before. Really something cool. This is for the air breathers inside. You guys can change the lights as well to whatever your heart desires whole bunch of air cleaner options you can do some crazy turbos on it if you wanted to do so um again a little crazy if i don't say so myself uh you can make this look like a 359 style there which is kind of cool aren't that many 359 mods out there but let's go with the uh this will go with the six lights keep that basic our visor, whole bunch of visor options, guys. The big wicked one going all the way down. A lot of, lot of options here, whatever you guys desire. Again, the customizations you could do to some of these free trucks are really, really crazy. But again, just for argument's sake, we're just going to kind of run through it a little bit. Um, kind of find something that's not going to be too crazy. Bowtie paint. We can do interior lights, watermelon lit nodes. That's kind of cool. Let's do. Uh, let's try that out. I don't know what that is, but let's try that. Also, oh, you could already add full. That's cool. And then you could also add the lights as you so wish. I'm gonna add the lights in here. Actually, what we're gonna do on this one is, um, we're gonna do roof lights. 
we're gonna go to the middle here. One, two, three. Is that right? Is that right? That doesn't look right. Why doesn't it look right? There we go. Real close together, one on each side. Our mirrors again. Whole bunch of options. You could quadruple team it with your antennas, I guess. That's something new. Old school mirrors. We can put lollipops on this as well. Whole bunch of light options, guys. And I'm going to show you guys too. You see here, here's the dual revs. So what we'll do is on the front bumper here, I'll um, put some dual revs here. So I'll show you guys. I'm not a whole big fan of like putting random lights here on the bumper but uh i will show you what these dual revs look like so what we'll do is uh we'll do red 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 down the line up here and i'll show you guys when we go out of the shop what that looks like so you see how it's yellow amber I'll show you guys what that does outside Moving along, steps are gonna be your basic steps. Whole bunch of options here, guys. Again, I'm probably not gonna go through every option here. Again, there's so many of them. Um, you can put mud flaps here again, guys. Something super, super cool. Um, let's see, I don't want a name on it, so we'll just do it like that. Do it like that. Actually, we'll put a Peterbilt one in the front. Can I? Put it there, yeah. Keep her Peterbilt. Run to the other side, boom. And boom. And out of that. The old tank, you guys can put some steps on it. I don't think there's really any need for steps there. Um, custom tanks. I guess there's lights or four lights, that's kind of cool. Custom show truck, custom, ooh, I like this one better. I like the yellow straps. I like how it sticks out a little bit further too. You can put a toolbox. Back here, you can put the lights on the back of the Eagle if you so wish. I'm not gonna go through all the lights options there. Custom show truck, these are gonna be your chops. You guys can really do a whole bunch of window chops. Now, I'm not gonna put any window chops because we put the old school mirrors on it and you can see here like it's impossible now to open up. It's like weird, right? It's like, I don't know, it's like goofy, so. I'm not going to put any window chops on just for nostalgic view or whatever. Put some beacons on if you guys want to be some heavy hauls right up there, right up there. You guys can add the lights in there as well. Our exhaust. There is a ton of exhaust here for this truck, guys. Very normal, very absurd. Uh, again, your heart desires to however you would like to do these. Um... I don't have to tell you um, what looks crazy. I'm sure you can find yourself that answer of what looks crazy. Um, moving along, some big old stove pipes. Jesus. Some big old miter cuts. That's about like an inch. These were nice, I think, because some of them had, yeah, the painted, yeah, see, I like that. Was it number three I liked or number two? I don't want Hick style, though. Ooh, I like these. I like the bands. I like how the bands are painted. I like how it got, has that option. Uh, definitely don't want black exhaust. No offense to you guys if you guys like the black exhaust. Black exhaust is not for me. I guess we'll West Coast curve it a little bit. Give a little something something. I don't know. Moving along to the back here, we got the airline set up. Again, you guys can put the airlines wherever you so choose. That's kind of cool how it's like in the chassis short. I like that. Um, you should be able to do the deck plate here maybe somewhere. Let's see, fifth wheel two. Deck plate back here, okay, cool. So that's kind of cool. Oh, you also put lights down the deck plate on this truck. That's cool. So if you guys want to add some marker lights going down it, is you can so choose to. Uh, your fenders, 
Noggly Tons. Love the mud flap on the back, guys. Any of you modders out there who put the mud flaps on the back are really nice how to have the half bender with the mud flap on the back. I really do like that. Some custom ones, some Hogue built, some quarters. There they are. We're going to put the exact same oval wheel in the back here, too, just to match. We do have the same wheels. Okay, in the back here. Again, so many options, guys. You could literally make this anything your own. Just wanted to bring this truck to attention because I know a lot of you guys see a lot of the guys rolling around with the big modded uh, trucks, the big payware trucks, the Rollins, the Pisters, the Rudas, the Doms, and you're like, you know, maybe I just don't have that kind of money right now. I kind of do like playing the game, but I kind of want something a little custom. You know, this is just allowing you to see like, hey, there is something out there for me. And there is something I could do to have a custom truck and kind of build my own. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to put back here. I'm kind of all like combobulated. Uh, let's put left. Those look a little nutty. Those look a little goofy, but we'll go with it, I guess, for right now. I don't know. Uh, USA Love Ladies. Oh, that's kind of cool. Pass inside. Back off. That's kind of cool. Ooh, Cat Diesel Power, even though we have a Cummins in here. Is there a Cummins one? No? That'd be cool if we had a cat in here. See what else we got here, boys. I think that's really gonna be it. Some underglow on it. You guys want to put a motorcycle on the side of this thing when you have the big frame. A lot of lot of options you can do uh, on this truck. Again, this is like a user truck. Whatever you guys want to do to this truck, you guys can. Going on the interior here, a whole bunch of different options as well. Some classic paint there on the steering wheel, polyurethane. Uh, is this our stick here? Yes, you can put triple sticks in here. You can be really obnoxious. Uh, twin sticks, twin stick here. We'll do a twin stick for today's video. We'll do paint on the dash. We'll kind of give this a little bit of load. Um, are we going to trim them yellow? No, we're going to do chrome lashes. They call them lashes, but they're going to be the visors on there. But uh, yeah, guys, listen, again, a whole bunch of different options here you can do to this truck. It is a free truck. So your heart's desire to do whatever you so wish. Stick a Cobras up there. Let's do a uh, R track line. So we're also gonna put the. Uh, I guess we'll put the GPS there. Again, this is gonna be for your lump. Oh. Where'd that go? There you go for that. Hmm. Interior color. We'll do what was standard black. I right, can make that paint too. Wow. Leave that paint. It's gonna be for our visors. Side mirror. And I think we're pretty much in here. So let's go ahead and give this thing a little ride. Again, guys, probably not the nicest truck we've ever built. Kind of clean, something a little different. But again, want to show you guys the options you guys can do to some of these free trucks. Look at all the internationals in here. Jesus Lord in heaven, I got to clean this profile up. Let's go ahead and drive this truck down the road a little bit. Show you guys a little bit about the hater build. Uh, we are so messed up in the seat here. Let me... Um, boom, boom. There we go. Again, guys, this profile has no mods on it too so in case anyone's curious there is no even jbx no nothing there's our horn you guys see we have our lights there now if you guys watch this if i hit the beacon that's my wipers never mind let me hit the beacon all those lights go red now on the bumper that's the dual revolution yellow 
and then we turn those off and it goes red. So that's something a little cool that comes with the truck with the dual revolution lights. Let's back this thing up a little bit. Oh yeah, this is the Cummins from the workshop. Back this thing up. I was messing with my force feedback. I gotta turn this off real quick because I've been using the force feedback on my own uh, third party program. Watch my game as I go like, screw you, mine, you lose. Again, guys, it's the Hater Built by Hateru Gaming. Links to this truck will be in the description below. And like I'm saying, you know, you got I'm gonna stress it enough. Like I understand, like, you know, we all can't go ahead and get all these big paid mods, and you know, that's alright, man. You, you could easily have some of these free mods, build yourself a nice truck. We're not saying this is probably the nicest truck. It is something a little different. But the whole idea is guys. The game is your game. You get to customize what you wanted to see as a truck. Your heart desires. Let's hear this thing, Jake, break a little bit, shall we? Got great engine sounds right off the bat. A lot of these trucks are compatible with like Jasper wheel packs, Z mod sounds. They're compatible with, of course, your graphics mods. They're going to be compatible with a whole bunch of stuff that you guys can use for the game. The only big difference is, is that, well, you guessed it, they're free. So there will be some issues with them. Of course, nothing is going to be perfect. You know, what comes with a free mod, sometimes you have to sit back and go, well, you know, it's free. But, again, for free, it is not too shabby. run down here to the rest stop you guys get a good look at this ride here something a little different guys you'll see those red lights we threw in the vi or actually in the uh, in the breathers there lights on the back are a bit goofy. Flatline lights do work with this truck, by the way, gentlemen. Flatline lights are free in the workshop. Alrighty. Let's there she goes, boys. Cummins Power. Love the way this thing actually does sound. All the gauges do work. A lot of the switches there work on the side. Show you guys what this thing looks like, of course, at night. All right, let's pull the brake out. There it is, and let's go ahead, change the time up a little bit. There we go. See some of the lights there inside the cab. See me lighting up orange. See the red lights we have there, of course, on the bumper coming on. Ah, uh, there she is.
Boom. I kind of do like this truck. I do like, we do play with this truck in the convoy mode. It is a free mod, so we can't argue too much with it again. Um, let's actually put this to 825. There we go. Ah, uh, there she is. Butterscotch. I kind of like this truck a little bit. It's kind of growing on me a little bit. I think we went back to the drawing board. And I played with this thing a little bit. Wouldn't be too shabby. Our window's down. Put that window back up and hide ourselves. Check that out. Of course, we can slam this thing down, too. Even further. It's going to go through the wheel, though, on that one. But we can lower the hole back down a little bit and get it just about right. Whoop. There we go. There she is all slammed out, boys. Looking large, waiting to pick up a load. But gentlemen, this is going to do it for this week's Modded Monday. Wanted to get a little bit of a free mod on here. Next week, we'll be going back into, I believe, one of Ruda's mods. We're we'll looking at the Freightliner Classic. Again, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see. And uh, we'll be more than happy to get it here on the channel. I know a lot of you guys are always curious. I uh, hope you guys have a good start to the week. We'll be streaming this week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. We're going to be off on Wednesday again. We're going to have a big week ahead of us, boys. We have the Sunday drive come out. We're going to have Mod Monday come out. We're going to have some no GPS. We're going to have a graphics video on all my graphics. We're going to have a mod video also on all the mods that I use in my profiles. So make sure if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell so you know when we go live and when we put out a new video. And honestly, guys, questions, comments, concerns, anything you need to know, let me know down in the comment section. I did fire up my old Twitter as well. If you want to shoot me a tweet, Discord, you name it, the links are everywhere, guys. Instagram, everything's at modded ATS. I hope you guys have a good morning. This is coming out 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, boys, get yourself a coffee. Get yourself ready for the day. Hope you guys have a good one. Hope you guys enjoy this little look into the Hateru Peterbilt. Again, for those guys who might not be able to be able to swing a paid mod at the moment, want to get some free mods here on the channel. Might not be for you, but it might be for somebody else. Appreciate you guys. Hope you guys have a good Friday. Keep the hammer down, and I will catch you guys. Well, I'll catch you guys tonight. Have a good night, boys. Or, geez, Christmas. Have a good morning. I'll see you.